Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see alert policies in Microsoft 365. We can use alert policies and the alert dashboard in the Microsoft Purview Compliance Portal or the Microsoft Defender Portal to create alert policies and then view the alerts generated when users perform activities that match the conditions of an alert policy. There are several default alert policies that will help us to monitor the activities such as assigning admin privileges in Exchange Online, malware attacks, phishing campaigns, and unusual levels of file deletions and external sharing. I'll just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So when you are at security.microsoft.com, you scroll down and under email and collaboration, look for policies and rules. Under policies and rules, click on alert policy. It says mail flow alerts have moved to the new Exchange Admin Center. Starting this date, customer will only be able to create view edit mail flow alerts in the new Exchange Admin Center. That's the information. So now this is the alert policies. Alert policies, uh, we can categorize the alerts that are triggered by a policy, apply the policy to all users in the organization, set a threshold level for when an alert is triggered and decide whether to receive email notification when alerts are triggered. How this uh, will work, so if I click on new alert policy, I'll have a friendly name, I will say my alert policy, description, severity, I have an option. Let's say I do medium category. So this is the category of the alert policy that is available to me. Let's say I do it for uh, mail flow. Act, select an activity that I detect a malware in the email message. Inbound or outbound. Let's say this is inbound. Add a condition. Sender domain is sender tags are recipient tags are or subject contains. How do you want the alert to be triggered? When the volume of match activities reaches a threshold. So if the flow is more than or equal to 15 activities during the last 60 minutes on any of the users, click on next. Email, I am the email recipient for receiving email notifications. Next, I'll just review my settings and then click on submit. This is how I'm creating a custom alert policy. But if I want to see the default alert policies that are available, let's say I suspicious email sending patterns detected, system type. Okay, you click on this. A user has been detected as sending suspicious messages outside the organization and will be restricted. If this activity continues, category threat management, these are the alert settings and these are the recipients. All the tenant admins will receive it. Okay, now how the alert policies work? So as an admin, uh, you will create, configure and turn on the alert policy like the way it is set up here, any alert policy. A user perform an activity that matches the condition of an alert policy that you have defined. I have not added a condition here. Now the Microsoft 365 will generate an alert that displays on the alert page in the compliance portal or uh, the defender portal. So alert will, I will see here when the policy condition matches. This is a lab tenant, so I don't have any alerts here. Now an admin manages alerts in the Proview Compliance Portal or Defender Portal. Now he or she will manage alert, consist of assigning an alert status to help track of and manage the investigation. Okay, now if I go back to my alert policy, as, I'm, as you saw that uh, there was a category defined. So this is maintained to help with tracking and managing the alerts generated by a policy okay now i assigned that alert that i created as a mail flow we can set it to dlp information governance threat management or other section severity i defined the severity of alert as well low medium or high or informational it says automated investigations as well. So some alerts trigger automated investigation to identify potential threats and risk that need remediation or mitigation. Email notifications, I added my admin ID 
or we can set all the dope all the tenant admins all right and these are the default alert policies every policy uh, every alert policy that has a policy type defined as system here are the default alert policies then there are information governance uh, alert policy like this is the category of threat management then you will have information governance or mail flow or permissions threat management and then you can always set up rbac permissions required to view the alerts following the permission documentation that is available on microsoft uh, defender for endpoint or defender documentation or on microsoft purview documentation so this is how the person will be an admin will be able to manage the alerts as well so this is what i wanted to cover about alert policy on the defender portal i hope this was informative for all of you if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day